Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. In this tutorial I will explain you how to create a pop-up screen. As you can see it from here, when I press the instruction pop-up screen, the pop-up screen will get appear and when I press the exit button it will go away. So let's begin. So here is the screen that I have already created. On this screen I want a pop-up screen. So I will go into the screen management tab and then go into the pop-up screen tab and double click here add new pop-up screen right so a new pop-up screen has been created so I will go into the properties right click here and I will change the name for the screen so I'm typing here instructions pop-up screen or you can write any other name you like it is according to what you are designing right so I will place here the title as well so I'm typing here instructions pop-up screen and I have used this text box for that purpose so since this uh, title is a little bit longer so what I will do I will remove the screen at the end so I'm gonna remove the screen at the end and now this is the title so I will place it wherever I want so I have placed it the middle now I'll go into the properties and I will basically change the background color so that it looks different from the previous screen where it's gonna get pop up so you can assign any color you like like this so I'm gonna assign this color it's gonna look good yep and after that I will drag this button this is basically going to be the exit button when I press this exit button the screen will go away right so I'm gonna type it exit and you can place it anywhere you like I'm placing on the top right corner and you can adjust the layout for the button like this as well so I will select this button and these option will get appear I will go into the events and I will go into the press right and here I will click on add function so we need to add function for this button and as soon as I click here we have different system functions right here so I will go into the screens and here I want to find the show pop-up screen right so I will click it as soon as I click it this pink color get appear which means that I have to assign here the name of the screen right so what I will do I will click on this area I will select this option and I will assign this screen that I have just created instruction pop-up screen right and we'll click the checkbox and the pink color has been gone away now on the display mode here the toggle is selected since this is the exit button the screen should get off or you can say go away so I will select the off state for the display mode right so whenever I click the exit button the screen will turn off now I will go into the screen where I want this pop-up screen so I want this pop-up screen on the home page so let me adjust this home page screen right and I will drag this pop-up screen that I have created let me find that out this one instruction pop-up screen I will drag this and I will place it right here wherever I want on my home screen so I will adjust the size of this button so I'm gonna select this button and I will adjust the size of this button okay and then I will select this button and in order to configure this button I will select this click state and here we have the display mode where it is selected by default toggle so I want this to be on because when I select this instruction pop-up button the screen will basically get turned on right so I'm gonna save the project from here and after saving the project I will click on start simulation in order to test this functionality if it is working properly or not right so I will select the start simulation button and after some time I will see the screen I'm gonna expand it and when I click on the instruction pop-up screen this pop-up screen will get appear 
so this exactly what I want so when I press the exit button the screen should go away and it is working properly right guys so that's all for this video guys if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial